Hey everyone, welcome back to Programming Fields. I am Umesh Rana. In the last video of Laravel interview preparation series, I have covered the database seeding using factory in which we have covered a stateful factory and callbacks. In the today's video, we are going to talk about email functionality that we will implement using Gmail in Laravel 10. Sending emails is very important for any web applications, whether it is for user notification, password resets or sending newsletters. And Laravel makes this process super simple. Alright, let's get started with the practical part. First thing first, make sure you have Laravel 10 installed on your system. So I have navigated to the terminal and firstly let's create a Laravel application. So I will type composer create project preferred is Laravel Laravel email app. All right. So this is our application name as email app. Now let's hit enter and this will take a couple of seconds to create this project. So application is created. Now let's open it in VS code editor. So I will cd into email app and let's open it. Yes. So the project is opened in the VS code editor. So now in the next step, we will have to configure this .env. So inside this .env file, we have this mail mailer configuration. All right. So in order to configure this, we will have to generate the credentials inside Gmail. So in this video, we are going to send email using Gmail. So we will have to create credentials through Gmail first. So let's check out to the browser. In your Gmail account, you will have to click on manage your Google account first. So inside this manager Google account, we'll have the security tab. So under this security tab, we will search for app password. So inside this search Google account, we can search app password. Okay. So after the successful authentication, here you will have to create a new application. Here you will have to provide the app name. So let's give app name as test email. Okay. And here it is generated the app password. So simply you'll have to copy this password. Okay. Now let's come back to the VS code editor. And here inside this username, you will have to provide your email address. So I will put my email address at gmail.com. All right. And under this mail password, you will have to provide that password that you have generated now. So let's add this. And under this mail encryption, we can add TLS. So the mail encryption has two options, TLS and SSL. And here mail mailer will be SMTP. And inside this mail host, you will have to pass smtp.gmail.com. So this will be basically Gmail server. And now we'll have to add this port. So by default, Gmail has port as 587. So this port will vary based on encryption type. All right. So if we will be using TLS, then we will have to provide this 587 and it will be different for SSL. And then we will have to provide this mail from address. So we can add the same Gmail address here. Yes, this is done. Okay. So the .env file is configured now. So now in the next step, we will have to create one mail class. So Laravel provide an option to create mail class. So by using that mail class, we can implement that to send email. So let's switch back to terminal. And now we will create mail class PHP artisan make mail. All right. And here we will have to provide mail class name. Let's suppose I will give welcome email. Yes. So this created mailable class. All right. So this mailable class will be applicable inside this app and mail folder. So inside this, we have this welcome email dot PHP class. All right. Inside this, we have this constructor in mail up content and this attachments option. So let's discuss about this construct. So if we want to receive any parameters from the controller or any functions, then we can receive that directly inside this constructor. Okay. So this will be invoked automatically when we will call this email class. Now we have this next function as envelope. So inside this envelope, we can see we have this subject. So by default, this subject is added based on the given class name. We can add from email address and uh, reply to address as well inside this envelope. And this is content. So inside this content, we have this view option. So from this view option, we can render the blade template. All right. And here we can pass the attachments as well. So this can be image or PDF for any file. All right. So for more information, we can check out to the browser and let's open the Laravel official documentation. So we will type Laravel mail and uh, let's open this mail class. Okay. Now let's scroll down and uh, let's click on this. So we have completed this step. We have generated this mailable class. Okay. Now we can see we have this envelope function. And inside this, we can define from address, reply to address, subject, these things. And also, we can fetch these credentials using .env file. 
we can configure the email template and we can pass over the data so in the content we have two options like by default we can render the html or we can render the plain text file we have these two options and here inside this constructor we can receive the parameters from other classes where this mail class will be invoked okay and this is all about this attachment we can pass this attachment so let's come back to the vs code editor and here in order to call this mail class firstly we will create one controller so let's switch back to terminal and here we will create php artisan make controller email controller so this generated one controller as email controller now inside this email controller we will create one function so let's define one function as public function send email uh, better we can define send welcome email okay so here we will define some data firstly we will define recipient email address to whom we will send email so i will define two email and inside this i will define one static email address so i will add this okay and also we will define one message dynamic message as welcome to programming fields so as of now i have defined this two email address so this will be basically our recipient email address and i have defined one message now in the next step we'll have to call the mail facade so by using this mail facade we will call the mailable class so i will call this mail to function and here we will have to import that mail class so we will write use illuminate support facade and then mail okay and inside this mail to class we will have to pass this email address this will be our to email okay and then implies and then we will call this send function inside this send function we will have to pass that mail class that we want to call so we have this welcome email class so let's copy so we will write new welcome email and uh, we will pass this parameter as message now we will have to import this welcome email so we will write use app mail and this welcome email okay now let's come back to this mail class and here we will have to receive that message so we will create one variable as public dollar message and we have to capture that parameter in this mail class constructor so we will define one variable as dollar message let's assign this message to this dollar this message okay this is done and we can change this subject as well so we can pass that subject from here itself so we will define subject equals welcome email in laravel using gmail we can pass one more parameter as subject and let's capture that inside this constructor so we will write subject let's define one more public variable as dollar subject let's assign this so we will write subject and dollar subject here this is done now instead of this subject welcome email we will map this with dollar this subject we will write dollar this subject this is done now in the next step we will have to design one basic template so what we will do we will create one blade file inside this resources views folder so inside this views folder i will create one mail template folder and let's create one blade file as welcome mail.blade.php okay and inside this welcome email template we will import html skeleton so this is done and let's remove these all things and even this css as well okay so we required a basic skeleton of html only so inside this welcome email class whatever we have received inside this constructor and we assigned this in the public variable these variables will be directly accessible inside this blade now let's come to this welcome email and let's call this template inside this view let's add this template name so we will have to pass the folder name as mail template dot welcome mail so we have rendered this view inside this content now we have to receive these two variables inside this welcome email so in order to receive these two variables we don't need to pass that inside this view because we have defined these two variables in the public access specifier so these two variables will be directly accessible inside this mail class and we have called this mail template inside this mail class so by default these two variables will be directly accessible inside this mail template as well so let's come back to this welcome blade and here we will define headline okay and uh, we will have to pass this subject and message so inside this h4 i will call this 
call a subject and then inside this p tag i will call that message so i will write dollar message this is done and let's pass this subject here inside this title as well we have called this mail class inside this controller and we have received these two parameters inside this mail class constructor and also we have rendered that mail template view and we have captured these two variables inside this mail template now in the next step we will have to create one route in order to execute this controller function so let's switch back to web.php file so inside this web.php we will create one endpoint so we will define route colon colon get and let's define endpoint as send mail inside this we will have to call that controller we will call this email controller colon colon class and after that in the second argument we will have to pass that function name so we have the function name as send welcome email yes we have the send welcome email we will have to import this controller so we will write app http controllers then email controller this is done now let's open the terminal and let's run this application so we will write php partition serve yes application is started now let's switch back to browser and let's try to access this application so application is accessible now we have to capture the response from this mail so we'll define this response okay and as of now let's add dump and die we will add this dollar response now let's try to access this route so we have this send mail let's copy and let's navigate to this route so now let's redirect to that route send mail so this thrown error html special cares dollar message okay so actually dollar message is related to this illuminate mail message so this is basically predefined so what we can do we'll change this label name as uh, mail message okay this is done and also we will have to replace this dollar message with mail message okay so this is done now let's switch back to browser let's refresh this yes so it returned sent message response at this we can see returned this message id that means it has been sent let's check that email address so yes we can see we have received this email we have this title subject and we have this message here we can see from is coming from laravel so what we can do we can change this name let's come back to the code here at this envelope and add that have to pass this from address and inside this we will pass new address okay inside this function have to pass the email address let's give our email address and also the sender i will pass the sender name as programming fields also we can pass uh, reply to email inside this and we will have to pass array because there can be multiple reply to email address we will write to address function and inside this i will pass that reply to mail address and the name as well this is done we will have to import this address mailable class so we have to add use illuminate mail labels and then address okay this is done save it and let's switch back to browser refresh this application once again email has been sent let's navigate to that email address so i have switched back to that email address and uh, yes we can see now we have the new sender information as name and email address also we have this reply to email address and name all right and there you have it you have successfully implemented a functionality to send email using gmail in laravel 10 i hope this tutorial will help you in your real projects In the next video we will extend this and see how we can send file as an attachment in the email so stay tuned with programming fields thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more laravel tutorials like this see you next time until then happy coding